at it again. Today we're going to teach a little bit of a simple meatloaf. I know we've all had meatloaf. Some of it's been like hockey pucks. Some of it's been just full of grease, but we want this to be just perfect. So something that you can uh, serve to your family. We'll show you a few tricks on that. But first of all, I think Mamie's in her dressing room. I, she takes a little while there. Oh, here she is. Baby, to say good morning to everyone. Good morning, everyone. How are you? Uh, what are you dressed as today? Well, I thought we were, where are we going to go? We're not, we're making meatloaf. We're not going out for filet mignon. So you're a little overdressed. Well, it would be okay though, if I get an apron on? As long as you, but this is a, you still have a lot of jewelry on. Over the top? Well, maybe, how, I guess you just have to be who you are, right? I am who I am. Okay. All right. All right get your it. apron on. I'm gonna got my apron on. I got my mop of Fina here, my famous mop of Fina, and we're gonna get started on. Get your apron on, baby. No. Okay. You're gonna ruin your clothes, and then you're gonna give me the cleaning bill. All right. We're gonna start this meatloaf. We took a half of an onion here, and I diced it, and I'm gonna put it in the olive oil with a little bit of butter and then I'm going to add um, some garlic and what I like to do on garlic I like to grate it so would you grate this garlic for me in there please you notice I'm using a wood spoon I always use a wood spoon on my nonstick uh, cookware because it doesn't scratch it and you get a really good surface are you having a hard time with that no. Maybe you just take you just take it like this. Take the end and grate it. And the last thing I'm going to put in there to saute, I chopped up some red pepper, a little just red peppers, and I'm going to have those put in. Would you stir those around, maybe? I sure will. And I like things to look colorful. Uh, you don't have to do the red peppers, but it. It gives it such a pretty look. I don't want to have uncooked vegetables in our meatloaf. We want it to all blend in together. So you get that sauteed, maybe, while I'm going to get the meatloaf ready. And first of all, what we're going to do, uh, you can use any kind of toast or bread. This is uh, just regular bread, white bread of any kind. I'm going to break it up and put it in my bowl. Let me put it over here so you can see. And this is called a panade. And that is going to be our binder for the meatloaf. Otherwise, we just have a, a big, big hamburger patty. So we want to have our, our panade. So I'm breaking it up. I'm probably not going to use the crust, but I'm going to just use the middle part of the bread. To the panade, I'm going to add about a half of a cup of milk to that. And I'm going to use the tools God gave me, the, my fingers, and I'm gonna squish this together, and then we're gonna let that sit. To the panade, I'm gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda. And you're gonna say, why baking soda? Well, I'll tell you. Baking soda, when you add that to it, your meat mixture, it's going to, uh, make it turn brown, it's gonna brown more. And again, it also helps with tenderization. So we want our meatloaf, we don't want a dry meatloaf, we want a nice and moist meatloaf. I'm gonna add an egg to our panade. So we're just gonna mix our egg up like that, put it in with our panade. Can you find the salt, maybe? Yeah, is, is this it? Well, I would prefer the regulars. That sugar, maybe. That oh, wouldn't taste good. Okay. Oh, well, I'm going to add my salt to the panade. And then I see that she helped, she brought me the pepper shaker, but I'll use it. You have to do what you have to do. So, put in some salt and pepper into our panade. And then we're going to mix it around. I've got a pound of ground beef here. And I'm going to, I'm using an 80 20 because we want the flavor of the fat. So I'm gonna add that to my mixing bowl. You keep doing that, baby. Oh, okay. 
And then I'm going to break it up a little bit, with, again, with my hands. And then what I also like to do, and it's your, strictly your preference, but I'm adding a pound of country pork sausage. And so I've got ground beef, and I've got, uh, you can use an Italian sausage if you want it. I'm just using a country pork for that, but you'll make, you can't believe the difference in the flavor of the meat. Okay, so now, Mamie, yes. I want you to add the vegetables. Carefully add them to our meat. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we put the vegetables in there. I'm going to take and I'm going to squeeze this panade in the meatloaf. Oh. So we've mixed our panade, our vegetables, our two kinds of meat, our egg. Now we're going to add just a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, again, for flavor, and a little bit of ketchup. Just eyeball it however you like it. Now bring the camera over here, Mamie, so that they can see what our mixture looks like. We're going to take a pan like this with a lip, with a lip on it. I'm not going to grease it, and I'm going to take it, I'm going to form this meatloaf. Just kind of get yourself an oval. Now I've got the ketchup in the bowl, and I like this. I'm going to add a little bit of spicy barbecue sauce. This is strictly optional, but I like it. And I'm going to add a little bit of mustard to that to give it a little bit of a tang. And I'm going to mix it. And then we're going to uh, make it a clean spoon, I will use this. We're gonna put some on this one and the rest on this one. And we're just gonna slather the, the dressing, or rather the sauce on the meat. And this is ready to go into the oven, 350 oven for be about 50 minutes. We're back, but the meatloaf's not quite done yet, but I want you to see how it looks. It's doing beautiful. And so we're gonna put that back in because I'm gonna make another sauce for it. Then we've been roasting these potatoes. All I did was take a uh, little baby uh, Yukon Gold potatoes and put them in the oven with a little bit of olive oil and garlic. And look how beautiful that's gonna look on the, t on the plate. And then um, I'm roasting our corn on our, in our grill pan. It's like what you do on the barbecue, except I don't have a barbecue here. So I'm just roasting it here. We, I took the corn cobs and I soaked them in water for half an hour so that they wouldn't uh, burn inside. And now I'm leaving this, the husk on and I'm steaming the corn. So it's gonna be real moist and really, really good and something easy. And then the other thing I wanna show you, I'm gonna make a sauce for the meatloaf to put on top. So I'm taking a little bit of my barbecue sauce. Again, I had some in it before, but I'm gonna enhance it a little more. And then this is something really neat. I'm gonna take, I wrap this uh, garlic in foil and I put it in the oven when I was cooking the meatloaf and I put some olive oil in it. And this is really good. I'm gonna squish this and you're gonna see, look at this garlic coming out of here. You see that? So I'm gonna take our sauce that we made, but I think with the barbecue sauce, it's just gonna be the perfect flavor. And I'm gonna put this back in. Mamie, are you home from shopping yet? Oh yes, I just got home. Well, come on in. The meatloaf's almost done. Okay, you wanna see what I got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you get? Well, I found this great top. Yeah, and I just love it. And I believe it has Chico brand on it. Ooh, that's my favorite store, Chico. It is her favorite store. That is. And so I'm glad to be back in this good smelling kitchen. It's absolutely awesome. Well, I'm glad you made it back in time for dinner. Well, I am too. We're just about ready. take this meatloaf out, but our meatloaf just came out 
and we're going to let it see. Mamie, what are you doing? Don't you want to help? Oh, um, well, I don't have an apron on. Well, you've got to get one, but I don't want you to ruin your new clothes. Well, if I'm just eating, do I have to get an well, apron on? Well, what, Mamie, you're not going to help? Well, oh, should, should I? Well, you kind of are the assistant. Oh. oh, okay, I'll get the apron on. Just a moment. But about done. The meatball has to rest about 10 minutes before they cut it so that the juices kind of come back in. If you cut a meatloaf right out of the oven and try to serve it, it's going to fall apart and you're going to have a bunch of crummy looking meatloaf on the table. So let's take a break. We'll see you in about 10 minutes. Thank you. It's been about 10 minutes. The meat is wet rested. So I'm going to make us a plate. Mamie calls these uh, pinchers, pinchers, but they're not. They're, they're not. They're called tongs. tongs? So we're oh. going to take our beautiful potatoes, which have been crusted on the bottom. They've been cooked in olive oil and garlic, and we're going to put those on our plate. Okay. That now good? We, that's good. We're going to put this nice, beautiful piece of meatloaf on your plate, and then I'm going to cut myself a piece. So. Let's put this over here. Okay. And let's pray. All right. Dear Jesus, we thank you for this day, for this food, all your blessings. And we bless all those who are listening to us this night. And we thank you that we can bring this video and that people will enjoy it. And we thank you for all of our blessings. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, everybody. We're going to start eating dinner now, and we're going to enjoy every minute of it. Happy. Or could you turn around and show a back view a little bit? Of what? Of your hair. Oh, is it a mess? Okay. Go. Bon appetito. And we'll see you soon. And let us know how we're doing. Tell your friends about us because we want to just keep doing this, but we want to do it for your pleasure. And we want to do it as a testimony to the Lord. And subscribe, please. Thank you. Hi to all my grandkids. Johnny, Joe, and Nick, Chris, Tony, Noah, Riley, Sissy, Kaylee, and Jaden. All of you are the best, and I love you dearly. My grandkids love you much. Bye.